Okay, continuing on on page 8, the top, we just decided that for the cost to be the same, that means we have to set the two costs equal, so k of x must equal a of x. Again, both equations are solved for y, so we'll be using the substitution method. In place of k of x, we're going to put 47x plus 1400. Bring down your equal sign, and in place of a at x, we will put in 83x plus 950. So we need all of our x's on the left, so that means we're going to have to subtract 83x, and of course you could bring them over to the right if you wanted. I just try to stay consistent as much as we can. And 47 minus 83 is negative 36. So negative 36x plus 1400 equals 950. So now we need to subtract, I'll do this in a color so we could see it, minus 1400 minus 1400. And so that's going to leave us, let's go up here. Negative <clears throat> um, 36x equals, and then 950 minus 1400 is negative 450. And then divide both sides by negative 36, because that's the opposite of multiplying by negative 36. And with negative 450 still in the calculator, we can just type in divided by negative 36, and we get 12.5. So let's see if we've answered the question. If we have, then let's put a label on it. How many years is years x? $47 times the number of years. Yep, we found x. So that means in 12.5 years, the two refrigerators will cost the same. So let's write that here. In 12.5 years, the two refrigerators will cost the same. In 12.5 years, the two refrigerators will cost the same, based on what we found algebraically. If a refrigerator's average lifespan is 20 years, how much money will Alex save over 20 years by purchasing the KitchenAid? Well, the easiest way to do that is use your two equations. So find out how much the KitchenAid costs over 20 years. Find out how much the Amanda costs. Amanda. Is it Amanda or Amanda? I think I'm saying it wrong. Amanda. So how much will the Amanda cost after 20 years? And then it says how much money will he save? That means we have to subtract the two answers. So the KitchenAid, I guess we should use our colors. So X is number of years. Remember, we said that on the other page. They told us use X for number of years. So in place of X, put 20 in. So the KitchenAid after 20 years will cost $47 times 20 years plus 1400. And let's go ahead and do the other one too, and then we can do the calculator all at once. The Amana, after 20 years, will cost $83 times $20 per year plus $950. So now 
let's figure out what these costs are. Then we can subtract them because it says how much money will Alex save. So that means we need to subtract. So let's first do the two costs. So 47 times 20 plus 1400. The KitchenAid will cost $22,340. And the Amana, 83 times 20 plus 950 will cost 2610. 2610. So how much will he save? So 2610 minus 2340. So we have 2610 in our calculator. So all we have to do is do subtract 2340. And that is $270. So Alex will save. $270 by buying the KitchenAid instead of the Amana, if he keeps it for 20 years. That's not so bad, right? Now you can see how important it is writing your equations. If you don't write your equations correctly way back on step one, you won't be able to do any other part of it. So writing the equations is by far the most important part of every problem. Okay, if he only wants to keep his refrigerator for 10 years, which refrigerator will cost him less? So support with algebra. So now we're going to do the same thing we did above, but put 10 in. So the KitchenAid after 10 years will cost 47 times 10 plus 1400. I think we can do that in our head, can't we? 470. So wouldn't that be 1870? I'll verify it with the calculator a bit. And the Amana after 10 years will cost 83 times 10 plus 950. So 830 and 950 is 1780, I think. Like I said, I'll check them both on the calculator. Got to give my brain a little bit of a workout. So, put these up. So, we have 47 times 10 plus 1400. Yep, 1870. Brain's still functioning. 83 times 10 plus 950. Boom, 1780. So how much will he save? So 1870 minus 1780. Zero, 1780, make it a seven. So what is that, 90 bucks it looks like? We'll verify it. 1870 minus 1780, 90 bucks. So Alex will save 90 bucks. $90. Oh, which refrigerator will cost less? So which one costs less? The Amana. We'll save 90 bucks with the Amana refrigerator. Uh-oh, now I forget how to spell it. A-M-A-N-A. -A. Okay. Just like the Amana colonies we had in Iowa. Alex will save 90 bucks with the Amana refrigerator. Yeah, that's enough. 
We supported it with algebra. We said which refrigerator. And I think we're good. So that was a fun little problem. So the next time you go to buy a refrigerator, boom. I can tell you in my life, I have never bought a new refrigerator, I don't think. But now I know how to buy them, how to compare costs. <laughs> Okay, so let's go to page 9. We can get a start on that. Now it looks like we're going to be renting a car and we want to know which car rental agency is the best. So car A, these kind of look like um, cabs. <laughs> Charges $50 a day and 20 cents a mile. Car B charges $20 a day plus 50 cents per mile. And I will tell you, we had this one on our test last semester, and so many people missed it because they didn't write this as a decimal. They went 50 plus 20M. 20 would be $20 per mile. This says cents, so that's 0 0.20 and 0 0.50. So they are telling us to use M for miles and they're calling car A. So car A after M miles is going to be, and it's just a direct translation, 50 plus 20 cents, 0 0.20, and then we're using M. And if you want to turn it around into Y equals MX plus B so that you can easily read the slope and the Y intercept, it will be car A after M miles is 20 cents per mile plus 50. Car B is $20 a day plus 50 cents, 0 0.50 per mile. So turning around in our normal Y equals MX plus B would be 0 0.50M plus a $20 fee. <clears throat> so now we can easily see the y-intercept here is 0 0.50. The rate of change is 20 cents per mile. The y-intercept on line B is 0 0.20 and the rate of change is 50 cents per mile. So now they're having us complete the table. So we can do the 0 0.1. So 20 times 0 is 0, so 0 plus 50. So that one's going to cost $50 when you drive 0 miles, because 50 is the base fee. So $50 for 0 miles. This one, when you put 0 in, you can see you pay $20 for 0 miles. So let's go ahead and do the pattern. Is this in order? 20, 40, 60, 80? Yep, so they go by 20s. So all we have to do is A of 20, which is 20 cents times 20 plus 50. And then we have to do A of 40 to establish our pattern. So 20 cents times 40 miles plus 50. So we just plugged them both into this equation, got them ready for the calculator. So 20 cents times 20 miles, 20 cents times 40 miles. Okay, let's type those two in. So we have 20 cents times 20 miles plus $50 flat fee would be 54. And so the second one will be 20 cents times 40 miles plus $50 flat fee, 58. So now we can see the pattern. So we can continue it. The X's go up by 20s. The Y's are going up by 4. So 62, 66, 70, 74, 78. Just to be sure, I'm going to put 140 in. So 20 cents 
times 140 plus what is that fifty dollars just to check my last one yep 70 oops 78 it is so i just checked that last one 